all right guys uh update sorry i turned the tv off um kind of had to hurry up and get this stuff done uh we got the fleece laid over the box um i showed you how i taped it how i stretched it uh you can see the line i drew is where i cut the fleece uh, so i did resin on top of the fleece first obviously uh, no glass mat just resin once that dries then i come through and i cut the fleece off take the tape off the fleece uh, front of this box is going to stay in its place um, that's what gives you this form to uh, lay your glass mat over top of so all this fleece that we resined all the way around is dried hard um, that's your form to build your fiberglass off of okay so um, I just got done with the first layer of fiberglass on top of the resin layer which is just in the fleece uh, this is what she looks like around the speak hole here you're not concerned you're going to come back with a flush cut bit on a router and you're going to just trim all this off um, so it doesn't matter what this looks like right here as long as you go over the edge far enough to where your cut is on the wood ring that's fine you're going to flush cut around it but as you can see i'm really keeping the fiberglass um, definitely not past this line that i drew i don't want it to go over and around because what's happening is the more fiberglass layers you build up and build up and then build up the thicker this gets in three or four layers of fiberglass um, can be up to a quarter inch thick if not a little bit thinner than that but um, if your fitment is good and you go adding layers of fiberglass especially around the bottom edge of this or on the sides uh, when you go to put your box in a car it may have some fitment issues not big issues but just enough to where it may be annoying so you got to watch out along this edge here all the way around the box how much you build up on your fiberglass so I'm keeping most of my fiberglass matting along this edge here and just kind of rolling over a little bit of the strands uh, I'm not putting full mats of, of glass mat right here along this backside edge because I really don't want to build this up any more than it is but um, I want to I want to build up the strength on this edge and all the way over to the face that's where all my matting is going to be that's where the thickest part is so uh, if you look at it this way the back shell underneath here is already strong it's already got four layers of fiberglass plus the re the uh, fleece that's folded over it is soaked in resin as well so structure um, everything is structurally sound here already and your corner is going to be very very strong you want your matting to mainly be on the face of this and going over now you're going to have naturally again like i said before in a previous video you don't want cut edges of mat so i don't want to do that here i want to kind of lay some of the fibers that are hanging over across here just to add that little bit extra strength but uh that's where we're at i'm gonna let this dry for a little bit um two 12 ounce batches of resin uh, did this entire face all the way around plus from here all the way around to here where my finger is uh, I was able to do a second layer of fiberglass matting um, with two batches of 12 ounce uh, 12 ounces of resin um, so 12 ounces of resin goes pretty far if you work it right um, I'm going to do a second layer of fiberglass uh, starting where I left off here go around the bottom come back up around the side where I left off and then I'm gonna let both of those layers fully cure overnight and then come back tomorrow after work um, and check my strength um, and I'll show you again I think I showed you another video how you check for strength by pressing on the uh, panels of your fiberglass if you have flex in it or not so uh, between the fleece uh, resin layer which is very thick because that fleece is a thick um, product and you're soaking that resin into the fleece um, it is going to be a very strong layer added to that fiberglass so um, my plan is to try to get two layers of fiberglass plus the fleece layer and have that be strong enough uh, for the box if I need to I may patch in some areas like if this area is weak 
but then up here this smaller area is stronger because it's smaller I may just leave that alone and I may do a third layer of this bigger area um, so after two full layers I'm gonna play around with it I'm gonna test my strength um, on each of these panels and see how strong we are so I know like this little area here between the wood ring and this corner uh, this area right here is not going to take that many layers to be as strong as a bigger panel such as over here or on this side right here where you got a lot of surface area so um, we'll come back I'll probably do another video tomorrow after work uh, once I've got uh, both my layers on this and uh, we'll check for strength